Greetings everyone and welcome to our 2022 Time Blazer Challenge. We've done this challenge for the last couple of years and I'm very excited to um, be heading this off again. And this is a really um, incredible year that we've all been experiencing. I mean, just look around the world. What is going on? And you know what? We have an opportunity to make some changes ourselves. And one of the things that I have always felt that if you um, are looking to launch a product or service or you know do an important um, task i think it's really important that you launch it on a good date and that's what the time blazer really is all about and i'd like to tell you about my proprietary uh, calendar which is called the time blazer and it's based on your birth information and it has been around for literally hundreds and hundreds of years and we know for a fact that it really can give you that competitive edge what really um, hurts me, if you will, is when I hear someone spending so much time and money on a website, on writing a book, on creating a pro program or product and service, and they're not really launching it on a good day. So if you had the choice of launching it on whatever day, um, let's say that you just decided to, um, to take a chance and that you were going to launch something and let's say that you are gonna do it on the 16th of this month because everything is ready. Well, it's a destruction day. So what I'd rather you do is get the proprietary time blazer that is personalized to you and find the best day to launch on a successful day. So that's what this program is about. Hi, my name is Kathleen Horvath Zamansky. I am a business feng shui master and the creator of the Time Blazer business management system. So let me tell you a little bit about the challenge. I think that that's important for you to understand what we're gonna be doing here. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit of the Time Blazer, but what I really would love for you to do is come up with something that you would like to launch within the next couple of weeks, if possible, but if not, at least within the next 30 days. Don't have the time blazer, don't worry about it. We're gonna let you have access to that as well. So we're, what I want you to start thinking about right, right now, and please put it into the chat in the, in the um, description and the comments below, what is it that you are going to be working on? Is it a project that you've been putting off or something that you're even really excited about? How about a program that you have been thinking about launching? You know what? You can, you can overanalyze that as well. So let's just get something out so that you have a really good chance of monetizing on that. How about a product or a service? When you start using your ca calendar in the time blazer way, you are gonna start seeing some incredible results. So let's talk about what you um, are able to do um, with this challenge. And there is a nice, um, prize at the end of the challenge if you follow some of these things. So number one, we want you to sign up for the Time Blazer. If you already have a Time Blazer, congratulations, you're ahead of the game so you'll know how to use some of this stuff. But even my seasoned Time Blazers like to come back and see updates that we have and I have tons of updates to tell you since the last time we did a challenge. And this is a great opportunity for me to share with you how this system can empower you much better, stronger, and make you feel more confident in all of your business decisions. Okay, so we have that. And then what you um, are gonna start thinking about between today and tomorrow, because really tomorrow is our official start date. And what we're gonna be doing is one project that you will be launching. Now, like I said, it would be great if you were, were working on something to launch in the next few weeks, but even if it's within the next 30 days or even sometime this year, if you have the full subscription, then you can really choose a date like that. I'm also going to have you subscribe to my channel. So we're going to be looking at those as well. And then we need you to join every day from the 14th. We're, like I said, today's really, we're just getting um, reacclimated to the newness of things happening um, online. So it's going to be officially really on the 15th all the way to the 23rd. And we're gonna be broadcasting at this time slot, Ho hopefully it'll work for you, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time, okay? So 
you may want to grab a screenshot of that so you know the rules of the game, but I'll be repeating them every day so you know. All right, then someone um, is going to win a hot seat with me and it's going to be a one-to-one -one strategy session and the winner is going to be announced on the 20, 23rd. So you are going to want to make sure that you tick all those boxes. The sessions will be recorded and you know, please share these with other people that you know that are you know people who um, entrepreneurs that are doing those kinds of things launches whether it be you know like I said a prog a program or a product or service or a website um, these are things that would really benefit you and if you know someone that is in that kind of minutia right now this is a great place to have them show up for uh, uh, about a half hour every day okay so that is so the the strategy session that I'm going to be doing is I am going to personally help you map out your strategy so that we choose a really good day for you and then we're going to um, kind of you know check in with you and track track your results now, this is also going to mean that you have something that you're going to launch, right? Okay, so here are the contest rules. You must have purchased one year of the software. It's very, very reasonable. Or have a current um, paid membership. So if you have already got a paid membership, and that would be through 12, um, 31, 22 or after, because we have people signing up for it all the time. But um, any anyone that um, has a membership will be eligible because it is quite a lengthy process to plan out a launch. You have to fit, you have to also kind of reverse engineer from, you know, what the end result you want to all of the steps that you need to do to get your product service program, your website, etc. you know, from start to finish, there's quite a few steps which is going to entail, you know, your work. I can't write your book. I can't write your website copy or take your photos. You need to have that all in place. And then we'll, we'll start um, doing the um, strategy of how you can get a better outcome. And then you need to join the challenge every day at 3.30 p.m. And then you need to comment with your name and we will accept a first name and an initial to be um, that challenge accepted. I need that every single day that you join. I need that in the comments below. And then you're gonna, we also have, a, and Alice is going to put in the description below um, several links for you. Um, there's going to be a new Time Blazer channel. And so as we're just building that, um, we're still gonna be broadcasting on this channel for right now, but a new channel is going to emerge which is all going to be about time blazer um, stuff okay all right and then this is um, a url for information and details about everything that i just talked about go to bit.ly forward slash tb challenge 22. again why don't you just take a screenshot of that and that will um, take you over but why don't you just hold on before you go over there just take a screenshot and then head over in a little bit but what i'd like to do right now is i'd like to take you over to the fabulous time blazer so the time blazer actually let me let me actually come back here for a second i want to tell you a little bit about um, the history, if you will, of the Time Blazer. Now, the Time Blazer, as I said, has been around. Um, it's it's based on Eastern astrology, Chinese astrology, if you will. And it is a personalized system. And it was always intended for the elite, um, the affluent, and big corporations and or big business if you will at the time as well as um the imperial families uh, 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 of the day and it was not actually allowed to be practiced feng shui astrology um favorable timing none of that was available to a, the, the commoners if you will and one of the things that with modern technology and with Westerners studying this, um, I, I saw the value of the Time Blazer, um, which started actually 12 years ago this year. It, it actually, it was created in a tiger year, which was 12 years ago. 
Um, so with that said, this was um, an opportunity for me to start using the Time Blazer, not only for myself, but I was actually using it for my top shelf clients as well, because I work for corporations and entrepreneurs. And so, but then when I started really looking at it, it was like, we need to get this into the hands of many, many more people. So again, let's go over to the Time Blazer and let me tell you some of the wonderful um, features that you can have access as to as well. All right, number one is we have, um, here is a month view. And you know when you sign up, you will get, um, you know if you're signing up for that 30 day trial, then you will get 30 days of the Time Blazer. So this is the month view, and I'm just gonna go into today, which is the 14th. Um, but before I go there, I wanna explain just a little bit about um, the Time Blazer in the respect. When you're, when you're using this for a launch, what you do is you look for a good green day and you wanna look for some, some um, stars and some icons and things like that. We're gonna go into this a little bit more um, deeply tomorrow, but for today, what I'd like to do is just kind of get an understanding of some of the things that you can be looking at. You can be looking at um, from the month view, you can start looking at it from a day view. And again, I'm gonna talk about this just a little bit. And then we're gonna go into um, tomorrow as well. I'm gonna give you a day ahead of this information. And the reason why most of the day for many of you is over and or it's already the 15th for you. So we'll do the best we can to get you um, tuned up for the upcoming days, okay? Right next to this tab is your astrology chart. So this is going to um, give you, um, this, is, this is what the Time Blazer is based on, is your year, month, day, and hour of birth. If you don't know your hour of birth, don't let that stop you um, because you know we still are doing most of the date selection, um, truthfully, from your year and month of birth. On special circumstances, we do have other um other you know attributes that we'd be looking at but for now we're going to be just looking at um just a couple of these tabs on what they can do for you um there's a full program but we're not going to even be talking about the full program that's not even what i'm offering um you know in this challenge it really is just getting you started because you know what there's some tough times out there still so we're still we're just wanting to get you using this software as quickly as possible and i'm going to give you some training on how to get there all right within the time blazer itself um there's many filters but let's start looking at this day so I can get you set up better for tomorrow and then I'll give you a couple of tips on um, what I would be doing if I was getting into this challenge myself okay all right so today it is um, an excellent stable day and when you look at your time blazer there's going to be things that you are not going to see on yours because it's personalized Things that are personalized are anything with stars. You're gonna see things like icons and activators. Sometimes they're gonna show up. On certain days, they will not because not every day can be a perfect, perfectly great day, right? All right, so for everybody, it's going to be the, the Western month of June the 14th. It's an excellent stable day and it's a yang earth dog day. I wouldn't worry about this other than the fact that it's a stable day. Go for it. It's green. Go for it. Um, again, we're going to ignore this piece for right now, but we're also going to look at the positive and negative influences. So when you're launching, you actually want to start looking at these things. Oh, um, there's a green light and leadership and relief. Well, what does that mean? I am hoping that these keywords that I have selected for you are pretty clear, but if English is not your first language or if you do want to have a uh, second look at that, um, go over to this training tab. It's right next to my account. There's some guidebooks here that can start um, indicating some things to you, but you'd want to go into glossary number three for right now because that will give you those uh, terms we were talking about. Let's go back to the strategic dates. It'll take you back to that last screen that you were on. And then I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit so we can see um, some, some things in here as well. Okay, so again, um, I'm gonna go through these um, 
these terms just very, very briefly. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because, again, most of these times have passed already and they change from day to day. So green light means go. Like when you're at a green light, what do you do? You go. So that's what you do. Leadership. You, you actually have, because of the energy in the day, have some leadership skills that you can um, bring forth in your business dealings, but probably personal as well. The relief means give yourself a break. Don't be so hard on yourself. Now, we also have to understand that there's some negative influences that happen each and every day. Futility means that, oh my gosh, no matter what you do, just seems like you're, you're just shooting yourself in the foot. Merciless is pretty much that. You just feel like, oh my gosh, there just is no hope here. And voluminous, here's a tricky, here's a tricky one. I can actually make this a positive for you because it is a green day. If this was not a green day, and you'll see days that do not have any color in it, that means the energy of the day has dropped. Doesn't mean you can't use it, but personally, if I was gonna be launching something, I am going for the absolute best vibrant energy. Again, if I'm putting so much effort into something that I'm trying to present to a group of people, I want all eyes on as many as I can, right? Okay, so, but voluminous means that there's gonna be double trouble and all of that, but what voluminous can mean on a green day means that you will actually get double the customers. So this is actually um, a very nice one that we can bump up. Here's something that um, I think is a Super idea for each and every one of you, if you're not already doing this, is create yourself, um, when you're looking at, and you might wanna think about this depending on what time of the day it is for you. If you're way on the West Coast or in the Hawaiian Islands, it's still early in the day for you, but for those of you who are listening from Europe, which I know we do have a few people, then it's already tomorrow. So what I want you to do, depending on what time of day it is for you, set yourself a goal. Do it right now. You might even want to put that in the description. Now, a goal is different than a to-do list. I mean, you could look at it, I guess it's semantics. But, you know, a goal for me is um, I want to reach... 2,000 new customers in the next quarter is a goal. What am I going to do with those steps? Well, my daily goal would be maybe I'll do a YouTube Live. Maybe I'll do a speaking engagement today. But what is your goal? Now, it could just be I want to do a speaking engagement, but why don't you just ramp it up a little bit and put in something like I want to show up empowered for my clientele to get clearly the best information possible for them to take action. And it will attract this week, I'm going to say a hundred new, a hundred new opt-ins. So that could be a daily goal and you're going to be working on that and you, all of your tasks are going to be around that. You could put a self-care goal in there. You could put um, a monetary goal in there, whatever the case may be. All right, let's move over to, and I'm going to just pop this out just a little bit so you see the full screen again. Um, what I have over here are the hours of the day. Now, in the Chinese calendar, there are 12 time slots versus 24 hours. In other words, there are two hour time slots. And most people um, work, you know, nine to, you know, nine to five or, you know, eight to four, whatever the case, you know, whatever works for your particular um, job or career. Some of you may be working early in the mornings or very late at night at well, as well. But as you can see, the hours are designated by the animal signs. There are 12 animals in the zodiac, and so there they are. Um, and so, again, I'm not going to go through all of these, but what I do want to show you on this is that we have... Um, three different ways that the times will show up. And I'm just looking at the text right now. One would be that, let's look at what's called the horse hour. This is between 11 and one 
1259, truthfully, um, you see a word and it's in red and it has a minus sign. Let's pull that, whoops, wrong way. Let's pull that out for those of you who are watching this on a phone, poor things. Um, but anyway, so we have a um, very negative. It's just no matter what you do, it's it's just going to, you know, backfire on you. So this may be an hour I would avoid launching something or taking on a very important call, if you will. Another one, let's just pop up to the snake hour, dragon hour. Um, you see that we have mixed energy, counterproductive. No, well, that doesn't sound very good. Um, means that whatever you do is just that like you're taking a step backwards. Wealth accumulation means that you're going to acquire wealth, but you also have a bright future, which is good for research, study, the, um, those kinds of things, and also visibility. So the this is a this is sort of a mixed bag in the respect that yes, you have these positives, but it can get knocked down a little bit by this negative. So again. I personally, unless I absolutely had to, I would not um, launch at this particular time. But on this particular day, we have um, two different colors here. Um, well, let's just start with the green. This is just a normal, it's very good, got a positive, and so you see it's blue text with a little plus sign. That means all is good. There's no... Uh, negative terms in here. So yeah, that's one that I would definitely choose. Now the monkey hour, the, the hour right before, we have cash infusion, means cash is coming through. Good question. Ask good questions, get good answers. Um, but we have, when, it, when this tile turns teal, uh, sort of a light, light uh, turquoise color, then we have what's called quick action. We're going to see quick action throughout the challenge, I'm sure, that will show up either in an hour or it'll show up all throughout the day. So that is all standard for everyone. Doesn't change for everyone, but what does change, and this is the game changer, is how good is this day for this particular person? Again, your time blazer is going to look a little bit different unless you have the exact same date and time as our um, dear Amanda, then we have for her three stars. Pretty nice. I would go, okay, that's out of five. That's already, you know, a, a good, good outcome. And it's a stable day. So we love stable days. We love things on an even keel. Wouldn't you like a lot of, a little bit of stability yourself at this point, right? Okay, and then the other thing is we also are looking at the hours. So we can choose either a two star, and this on the hours, it's, it'll be from zero, as you can see, there's none there, or it could be one, two, or three. So in my opinion, what I would personally do is I would take... Um, a look at these two hours you know is there anything early in the morning nope not really nothing really later in the day so these are my two choices now you have to discern on whoever is the recipient of your like if you're going to be doing a program launch that day in the time zone that you're going to be speaking to people is that going to be good for you to have this particular energetics or not Okay, so this is going to get you a much quicker action, okay? Plus it has three stars. So I'm gonna go with, I would choose this day and using this particular time slot to do the launch. And you know, you could also use the five to 659, but I uh, of the two, my choice would be this one and the secondary choice would be that. Or if you're having a live event, could you imagine using both of those time slots? That's how I want you to start thinking. So you gotta have a little bit of, um, you have to have a little bit of vision when you're thinking about your visions on how you can even make it better. All right, let's go to June the 15th. I'm going to let this go back to its smaller size so you can see the whole screen very quickly and then I'll zero in on it. So again, just I'm gonna just pop back to the month view. Whatever you see on the month view, you see just a little bit of a snapshot, and then you go into the day details just by clicking on it. To go back and forth from day to day, you just use these uh, toggles, um, 
by going front forward and backwards as well. All right, let's look at tomorrow. For those of you who are already, it's tomorrow. And for, for, for those of you who um, are in later time zones that will have an opportunity to use the entire day. Okay, so Wednesday, June the 15th, it's a fair initiate day and it's a yin earth pick. Now, the more you get into the time blazer, the um, animal signs and the five, one of the five elements um, or the 10 phases of the elements because we have the yin and yang, you may want to be, you know, dive a little bit deeper into that. And of course, if you do want to do that, again, go over to the training and then look at some of these guidebooks over here. There's also um, some videos here that you could um, peruse to find as well some of that information. All right, look at this day. It's a five-star day for this for this person. We have a, um, a launch, a marketing tool here, and very good for partnerships. So one of the, the things that are is very, very popular is JV partnerships, affiliate partnerships. So this would be a good day to have affiliate conversations. If you're not ready for a launch, maybe you're getting ready for a launch. This would be a day where I would take 11 to two o'clock and just do discovery calls in you know 30 minutes, give yourself a 15 minute buffer and just keep stacking them up. You know, Obviously you're gonna plan this ahead because this is what your most success is gonna come, come is planning ahead, mapping out your entire year. I like to tell people to stick to one really big goal and that might be you know, a three to five year goal and then something that you absolutely wanna launch within the year and then some shorter term goals as well. So this could be, you know, if you've got some big program that you're going to be doing, then this is where you're gonna want to bring on those JV partners. No activators yet, coming soon. We'll show you those as soon as they, sh they show up in a day. Because it is, it's a step-by-step -step process. When you look at this time blazer, I want you to look at it as empowerment versus, oh my gosh, there's just so much information. Well, it is a bit of information. And anytime you learn anything new, if it's worth learning, then you're going to take the time to do it. And it is going to, you know, quite frankly, every single day I look at my time blazer. I want to know when the best pockets of time are going to be. So that's another way that you could be using the energies as well. All right, this is another nice uh, green day, so we can talk about some happy events here as well. All right, green light again shows up again in this particular day means go. Happy endings means it's happy, harmonious. It's a nice, uh, a, a nice, nice um, bit of. Um, brightness to the day as well. Leadership, just like the day before, we have some leadership skills. So again, not all of these are going to show up um, exactly uh, the same. You're going to see some differentiation um, quite a bit throughout the the, uh, the course of just the, the time we're on together. Wealth accumulation again. So we know this day has money. All right, just like Voluminous, Big Spender is the same. This would be a great day to have a promotion a um, offer, you know, make an offer, this would be a really good day to do it. This is where the big spender can move up to um, a green um, influence, but you yourself be careful with your spending because you're going to want to spend. But th the, the thing is, the difference between, I think, using a non-green day and a green day is on a non-green day, you end up getting buyer's remorse. You end up getting people that are not happy with their purchases and you have chargebacks and things like that. But on a day like today, you have less of that. Let's face it, we have all of that, those things when it's the cost of doing business, but it is less likely to happen on a green day. Careless, watch your mistakes. Really like double check your words. Watch out for petty people. There is potential disaster and that could come in many forms. Um, just turn on the television and you can, you can um, jump on any one of those bandwagons. But I tell you what, just watch out for that. Just be careful out there. Travel block, be very careful when you're um, out on the road um, because it could be something as simple as a traffic jam um, to a flat tire, to running out of gas, to 
your plane uh, gets delayed for hours and hours and hours because of whatever, um, but it could also mean an accident. So do be careful with that. Don't forget to um, add your, so for those of you um, who are already in the 15th, um, if you wanna go ahead and put in the, uh, the comments below what you're going to do with the day, and for those of you who have the day ahead of you, what would be a good thing you could begin? Initiate means beginnings. And this is where we can start writing a book, start writing your website copies, starting that funnel that you needed to do. So this is where you're gonna start mapping things out and really seeing um, all of the pieces that you're gonna need and get things going and take that first step. That's where it's really gonna help you. So on this particular day, we have a time slot of 11 to 2.59. This, uh, the horse hour has one star and conversely, the goat hour has three. So again, you kinda wanna look at um, what do you need more of if you need, um, I just need this to, um, you know, really get get going. Then green light would be a good thing. If you're if you're mapping something out and you're just starting to write a book or website copy, program copy, this would be a a, a wonderful time to get started. And then wealth accumulation is that is really more where we are. That's the more the savings, the investment, that kind of thing, because it accumulates. This would be a great day to open up a bank account. Um, just, just uh, uh, you know, if you're doing any type of investing, um, be very careful in this volatile market. But this would be a good time to do that. Now, if you drop down to the goat hour, you've got bright future again, brightness, visibility, good at you know, good for for learning, and we have cash infusion. So the the, the difference is this money is coming in. What you do with it is um, is you know a, a choice, if you will. And then we also have the dog hour. So how could you even use this if you were in a launch situation? I'm going to pop this back out again so you can see it. Maybe a little bit too small. Um, so basically, um, and I just really want to look at these green hours. So just so enough, so you'll be able to see this, but, um, what I wanted to, um, say is that, you know, maybe you're going to be having, um, a Facebook live or something like that at, um, seven o'clock, seven thirty, something like that. During the 11 o'clock hour, you could be doing, you know, sending out your autoresponders and things like that. Um, you could be, um, you know, rehearsing your program, um, you know, those, those types of things that are action oriented to help you be better for your 7 to 8.59 webinar or product launch or, or whatever you're gonna be doing on that day, right? So this is a day that I would be asking for money because it does have a lot of money in it. So this could be a day that you invoice your clients. It could be a day where you make um, calls, uh, discovery calls. This would be a great day to do discovery calls um, with a call to action for you to um, close some sales. So that's how I would be looking at um, the um, looking at the at the day. All right. So um, what we're going to be doing tomorrow? I'm going to go into um, a little bit more of the navigation and some of the other um, features that we have. Um, and for for now, though, um, let's see if. Um, let me go back over to, there I am. So um, as you can see, the, the Time Blazer is a very, very, very robust um, system. And what I would um, encourage you to do are a couple of things. One, um, go ahead and I'll put up that slide again for you to find the program details. I would definitely um, start asking people to come over and join us. Let's get over there actually, you don't need to see me that. Go over to bit.ly forward slash TB challenge 
22. Keep that all over case and it'll take you right where you need to go. And then um, basically what I would um, do is I would start thinking about what you want to launch. So we are in a, a year, um, I'll, I'll be talking about this throughout the month um, or during our challenge, but this is an incredibly important month. It is a month that is really preparing us for a big seismic shift that is happening in the metaphysical world. I'm sure you've heard, and it's not just it's not just Chinese Eastern astrology, it's kind of across the board. I'm sure you've been hearing it. If you're following me, you would be pr probably pretty attuned to this. If not, put in the comments below about big shifts that are coming. And I'll, I'll uh, talk about it more um, as we go through. But what I want to say is do not let this month go by without doing some sort of launch, even if it's a mini, mini launch do something to be visible. This is the most visible month of the year. And I'm very excited that I'm here with you to help you gain that visibility. And one of the ways that I know that you can do it is choosing a good day and a good time to launch. So um, anyway, you will get all of the program details at this URL. We'll see you tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you then. And by tomorrow, I want you to um, really post for us what you are um, going to be launching Believe so that one, one of the ways that I'm, um, so that we can, um, oops, I think I, nope, I think I'm still on. I don't know that you can do it. <laughs> it's choosing a good day. I override myself by clicking too many buttons. So <laughs> I was just seeing if there was any comments and I don't know how to pull that up. So I, instead of overriding myself, I am going to close down for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Bring a friend and we'll, we'll uh, figure this all out together so that you can have an incredible launch in the next couple of weeks. Take care.